Unfortunately, we have to go in depth on what we know about the man suspected of killing Sergeant Bill Hoosier. This man, according to an officer's written report, Michael Jane was driving northbound on I-15. The initial call to dispatch was somewhat bizarre. It mentioned the Hells Angels targeting the driver of the truck. This was around 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, May 5th. Claims that someone is riding on the diesel trailer. The semi is driving a gray cab, the dry van. This has been from the milepost 207. They're all the way up at milepost 244. I think the driver of the semi is your RP. So you heard it there. It was believed the 911 caller for the reckless driving was actually the driver himself, Michael Jane. Jane would then pull away from officers on the traffic stop. You'll hear this part now from UHP trooper Dustin Griffiths, who was there on scene. We will not be sharing audio from the moment Jane turned around and struck Sergeant Bill Hoosier with his truck. We were out of the vehicle. We were going to get the driver. He's not supposed to be with us. He just took off in the semi. So the suspect is at the Maverick in a great pleasure. Tuffy Beard, he's trying to steal a vehicle at the time. He took another semi. He took another semi. Red, red semi, red semi. Red semi, which direction? He's going northbound. So you can hear that Jane got out of the semi, ran to the gas station, attempted to take other vehicles before stealing another semi truck. Now, initially, it was reported he was heading northbound. However, quickly determined that Jane was actually driving southbound, where he abandoned the semi truck in Mona. According to the report, Jane stole an older model Ford F-250. He drove south into Nephi, then to Mount Pleasant, parts of St. Pete County. He drove to a remote home, drove the truck into a garage after scaling and surveying that home to get in there, stole boots and keys to a white Ford F-150, and then continued driving towards Vernal. That picture on your screen is what happened after that. Highway Patrol troopers pursued Jane. Documented speeds over 100 miles per hour. Troopers performed a successful pit maneuver, basically a, a slight jab to the vehicle, if you will. Jane crashed off the road on Highway 40, and that's what was left of that F-150. Michael Jane was hospitalized until Saturday, May 11th, when he was booked into the Utah County Jail. Initially, Jane had a woman in the semi-truck with him. She escaped when Sergeant Hoosier pulled him over. According to the woman in that report, she had been riding with Jane until the Beaver area. When the two actually got into an argument, Jane left and then came back for her after she got out of the truck. Apparently, he threatened her with bear spray and a knife. She felt threatened, but she got back into the truck until leaving and exiting the semi when Sergeant Hoosier pulled over the semi in Santaquin. Jane has been charged with the following. Murder, aggravated murder, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated burglary, among other charges. He's in the Utah County without bail, the Utah County Jail without bail, and we 